this is the uh, Dakota fire hole rocket stove that's the uh, what I would call the uh, cooking port that we just fired and you can see the uh, right, right before I started the smoke was just coming up and curling down and then getting sucked on down the pipe but right there it's burning really well so at the moment there's no smoke inside this dome at all the flames are going sideways exactly the way they're supposed to and uh, working really well not very much fuel in there but it's um, burning and a couple wisps of smoke coming out once in a while but that's what's working really well right now that's what you want to see is sideways flame there and I'm gonna get a uh, a five gallon bucket and burn it off and burn the paint out of it and get the wire bale handle off or not I don't need to do that um, I'm gonna build a rock ring around that both ports so it looks real nice put more dirt on it and that'll retain more heat too um, I could even put some uh, insulation on that I've got like an old tractor part or something that red that red there just a metal shroud it was just something laying around what's in plain view what do you got laying around so I just put that in there as a kind of as a outer shield and there's rocks packed inside of it I'll, I'm gonna fill this all in with rocks this big space here <clears throat> and then uh, like I said put fill it in with dirt and then make a nice little pretty rock ring around it but yesterday I did a several hour interview worth of material for a uh, documentary that's upcoming you can see snippets of it on uh, Vimeo and it's called Beyond Off Grid and a couple or three of the main themes that we talked about was using things that are in plain view uh, using material that you have laying around and uh, the other idea was thinking outside the box well rocket stove is really nice you could put them together for hundred two hundred dollars of the materials you have laying around but uh, why use expensive material when you can just use the ground you know it takes a lot of time to um, do things like uh, mix up cob and whatnot so I thought well there's the idea of a Dakota fire hole where there's a Dakota fire hole I just used six inch stove pipe uh, like I said an elbow uh, the first thing on the right there's an elbow and then it goes into a T the elbow is your fuel port the T is the uh, burn the cooking chamber cooking port and I can put a uh, right here I've got a paint can it's got water in it paint's already burned off of it and out of it and I can just put that there and cook and heat that water up um, so pretty neat so what do you have laying around we'll build a rocket stove out of it you got a lot of dirt most people have dirt on their property build a rocket stove out of it this is a trench or in-ground rocket stove that's all thermal mass I'm gonna finish covering up that insulation I'm gonna actually I'm gonna lift it up and level it out a little bit more the idea is you know the grounds heated up right across there and you've got about eight feet of heated earth to sleep on when you're done this could be a Walmart tent it doesn't have to be a geodesic dome it can be anything it could actually be a cardboard box if you some people live in cardboard boxes well they could build a trench rocket stove and have warmth and have no smoke inside build it right you can see that's the burn chamber and there's no smoke coming out of that at all so pretty awesome little deal a little bit of insulation sticking up there right at the other part of the right as it goes out of the dome I'm gonna again you know pull that up and level that off dig that dirt up and then uh, lay that down under the dirt and then put the dirt back on it so you'll be sleeping on insulated ground in other words the uh, all the heat's going to reflect up because I've got insulation there. I used like a, a full roll of uh, heavy-duty aluminum foil back and forth back and forth back and forth I laid one down the middle and then uh, another line of it double liner I don't know triple four layers whatever several layers multiple layers um, along either side of that on the side of the trench and there's also some like I said old insulation and in this and that so 
So once that earth heats up, it uh, it warms it up and then it gets real good draw, maintains that good draw. And you've got a nice warm place cooking inside, no smoke, heated inside with no smoke. Once the ground's heated up, the fire goes out, the ground's going to stay warm for quite a while. And um, that's your thermal mass. You could build up a bench with rocks and stuff and sit on it, whatever you wanted to do. So there you go. What do you have in plain view? Think outside the box. This is a cheap way to go to have heat and warmth through the winter.